Hey guys! Welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon! This is a special episode because it's a mega, mega, mega episode! I know from past experience playing the game, uh, including a... This is my second playthrough here. It's gonna go over 30 minutes, guaranteed. And a lot of important events are gonna happen. So, uh, yeah, get some food, get some minute drink. Uh, so, there is important characters. There, This is a JRPG. There is Dart, the mercenary. There is Lavitz, the green uh, night guy. And then there is Shauna, uh, who is uh, the bow using character. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's do it. King Albert is a decent man and should be a true king. Yeah. So he is the king of Sertio, and then there's Imperial Sandora, the Silver Dragon Inn. <laughs> this is where we're getting our orders from. That's Lavitz, the night guy. And then there's the other night guy, <laughs> basically. And we're we are to defend the uh, this whole fortified town of Hoax from Imperial Sandora, a dragon attack or something. That Stardust, by the way, I just got. <laughs> You'll see why I'm getting Stardust later on. In the I don't know. So, Dart is touring the facility and picking up slack. And uh, Shauna is a girl with a short skirt and a long jacket. No, just that. You know the band Cake? Awesome. Short skirt, long jacket. Awesome song. <laughs> anyway, they're on sort of a date? I'll show you what's going on. Storage, yeah. You'll see what it what's gonna be. You'll see. <laughs> but seriously, the band cake is awesome. Let's talk to this uh, woman here. Midwife Gilda. Well, well, we have guests. By the way, I have to uh, do the voice lines. All right. It's a classic JRPG, or a J part JRPG in general. You have to voice the voice line. My name is Dart. I am joined in the defense of the town of Hoax for a while. Which is the case. And both of you, when are you having your baby? I'm not going to do an old woman voice. I don't want to do uh, different voices right now. So. It's just my voice, okay? I'm just narrating, I'm just saying things. Yeah, so they're not having a baby. Uh, uh, wh what are you talking about? The Shauna's not having a baby with him right now. It, she is not preg preg pregante. <laughs> yes, we are. It's, it's too early. It's too early for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even your boyfriend right now. Oh, you're visiting a famous midwife, midwife so I thought you'd... Uh, <laughs> Shana doesn't even look pregnant. Come on. I thought you'd want to get advice about having a baby. Anyway, come back anytime if you are going to have one. That's nice of her. Yeah, so I was the midwife for King Albert too. The king of the great, an awesome king of Sergio who is a friend of Lavitz. Then you have been observing this country since before the war. Before that war, tw starting 20 years ago when uh, Sergei, I don't know. Carlo, 
King Carlo was basic. I'm remembering this from memory. King Carlo was betrayed by his brother, uh, who is the Emperor Sergio. Emperor of Imperial Sandora. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, this she's saying it too. It was 20 years ago the former King Carlo passed away and his younger brother, Dole, who is the... Broke away. It seems he couldn't stand having his majesty Albert. So, uh, Dole is the, uh, emperor of... Yeah, Imperial Sandora. Sixth, then, to be the king. His Majesty Dole and His Majesty Carlo used to be very close. They were like literally bros. I wonder what made them change. So yeah, you have some a, some a big lore drop there. We gotta go now. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> well, work hard. When you can, when you need me, come back anytime. Need me? Mean need a midwife? Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I'm with Shauna there. Uh, we are lucky, Dart. Yeah. So, yeah, that wasn't wise of Dart. That wasn't wise. Let's talk to her again. This war started 20 years ago. It all began when Dole, the king's younger brother, created an independent country. Which is, uh, Sandora. Thus dividing the country in two. Lord Dole and King Carlo were good brothers. I wonder what drove them apart. Cool. Yeah. We don't know that. That we don't know. Why would Dole become evil? So, let's go... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. One more stop. One more stop. I can go down there. Before I start some action going on. Look at that. Troops quarters. Hoax in the 7th Fort in the Marshland. These two are the defense lines for the Kingdom of Basil. Yes, yeah, Sergio is the whole continent. Basil is the kingdom. For now. For our people. We must defend them to the last. So it should be... I uh, yeah. We got it. The rumor of a dragon. It could be a diversion of the Imper of Imperial Sandora. Such a legendary creature can't be alive, even though Dart saw that dragon for himself and almost became dragon food. Dart knows better. Dragon went extinct eons ago. They can't be alive now. They are alive. Will a dragon attack? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe a baby dragon will just look cute and blow a little fire. I don't know. How do I get that? A baby dragon would be adorable though, wouldn't it? Now are you ready for some potential action? Maybe nothing could happen. It could be a quiet night or it could a lot could happen. You'll have to see. You'll have to see guys. Did you get enough? I will take you to your guard position. Yep. We are fine now. We have just finished the, the uh, strategic meeting. Now, I'll take you to your position. Is it store clerk? Is it cashier? No, just kidding. I want you to ask, I want to ask both of you to guard the back gate. 
It's at the end of the stairs. That's easy enough. Let's go quick and relieve the guard. Not relieve on the guard, but relieve the guard. Th those are two different things. And just in case you're wondering, let's go chat with him. I am here to replace you. You can trust us. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Monty Python reference, guys. Have you ever watched Monty Python's Blind Circus? You should. Good stuff. It's British comedy. Uh, classic British comedy at this point. If Sandor attacks, it will be a night raid. Cannot relax till morning. Rest while it's still light. You're on the we are on the night shift, friends. We're in the night shift, baby. We're in the night shift, dudes. It's strangely quiet tonight. If a dragon comes near, we can easily tell. Look, dragon, right there. Made you look. Why is that? There are those in the forest. So many dragons in the forest. <laughs> it's full of dragons. Just rushing at the town. Nocturnal owls are hooting. They they do hoot. It's a it's proof that nobody is in the forest. Except owls. And a whole load of dragons just waiting to come up. Can you see that? <laughs> you see the dragon? Made you look again. So, I'm gonna go grab something from the fridge. Worrying about Shauna? not that. I'm just craving some red hot Cheetos. And some gummy worms. Bring me back, uh, bring back, bring me back some Tostitos. I like the ones at the ranch. Okay. <laughs> what is that? The owl. Dragon attack. Ah! Dragon! Arrows! Enemies coming! Enemies coming! Knighthood! Advance! Fortify the gate! You take care of the casualties, and do it very casually. Y yes sir. We'll counter them. Yeah. Ready for some combat? Basically, here's how the combat goes. You've got additions, which are like combos or something, and you have to hit the right timing. Uh, on the yes. <laughs> and I can do double slash well, okay? Eventually I want to get a thing where I don't have to do it like it's a rhythm game. <laughs> It'll play more like uh, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I would like that. Because, uh... Each move has its own rhythm, and later on in the game, it gets insane. Oh no. Who's that? Sandora Elite! Says. Is this the Battle HQ for the front lines for Basil? What a weak setup. Total weak sauce, man. I will guard the top. 
gotcha. Trust me to handle here. All right, I'm gonna get the guy on the top. What guts do you have? Coming alone like that? I can take you on alone, buddy. I am here. I got those guys at the bottom. Hmm. One or two doesn't make a difference. Because I'm a Sendor Elite. Big talkers are usually weak. You know, I'm kind of overpowered, so, uh... A little bit overleveled. You might want to take back that statement. Our second fight! From what I remember, these guys aren't... are a little bit tricky. <laughs> they could take more damage. Let's see how many uh, combos it takes. Yes. Double flash. Enough playtime. <laughs> oh. Can you nail the real me? I'm not gonna make a religious joke here, but uh. You could get what I what joke I was gonna say. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna cross that line of making a religious joke. I am not gonna do that. That's the real one. Nailed it! Yes! Double flash! There you go. Did I, just, did I just say nailed it? <laughs> I think I did. What is that giant? That's a, that's a giant. He's huge. Must be like eight feet tall, nine feet tall. Doesn't skip leg day. It's gi Giganto. Giganto. That's a good name. Giganto, they're huge. about it, but he is real. The ones who fought so far were no match for him. Where's the dragon then? Um, if a dragon didn't attack. Hopefully it's not the seventh fort. Well, he is still not a dragon. At least he's not a dragon. Okay. <laughs> This is uh, an important boss battle. I won't tell you why. Yes. But it is Double an important flash. boss battle. Congo needs no weapon. Congo beats you with his hands. Now, you gotta get a combo right. I'm gonna get a combo wrong just to show you why you need to get a combo correctly when he's in this position. I'll show you. I'm gonna. I'm going to deliberately do uh, addition, not combo. I'm gonna do addition, and I will do it wrong. That's why he punishes you for a uh, if you mess up an addition. Got to finish him off. You gotta finish off the move. Thankfully, I am overpowered. I'm OP, so uh, I'll be fine. Let's do a move against these 
do one of these. That way, won't have to worry about getting something wrong. Not sure if you hear my the like the button mashing. <laughs> Not sure. Congo wins! Fatality! Dragoon of the Red Eye Dragon. I have to narrate the cutscenes, guys. Ah! Ah! I'm, I'm back. No, I'm not gonna. Die. Just happened, hi huh, guys. Are you ready? <laughs> you weren't ready. You weren't ready. The these are not <laughs> human. Dark, you... What happened to you? Good question. I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. I was in a Taco Bell restroom one time. <laughs> Based on my ah. Uh, Taco Bell restroom ah. Uh, yeah. Dark doesn't know. Sorry how I said ah or something like that. Yeah, so we'll find out. The Night of the Dragon. The Dragoon was born. So, her name is Rose. She was way early in the story. Ugh. Shouldn't have had that, uh, whatever. I'm surprised you didn't die. Giganto don't die. Giganto will pay you back in dollar bills. Sorry, I have to make jokes, okay? Even in serious moments. Even in even during funerals. Dart. Hey babe, you like my new look? You are safe. What happened? Well, you saw he had a new look on, right? Right, Shauna? There's a lot of explaining to do, though. Uh, seeing Shauna's face makes me relieved. Another bathroom joke. Just waiting to happen. Dirt. Are you all right? He's fine. He's fine.
What are you to Dart? What did you do to him? Shauna is kind of pissed off. I was only... And Dart never woke up. <laughs> Cut it out, both of you. I should, I should be thanked. So why do I have to be yelled at? You have a misunderstanding here. And don't go, be, don't be like, what seems to be the problem, ladies, or something like that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Have you come too? He's not dead. Uh, I was... I'm glad, I'm glad you woke up. You, you are... Rose, nice to meet see you again. Remember that one date? Yeah, that went well. So, uh, yeah. I'm back. I, I'm Dart's ex. No, just kidding. Uh, do you know Dart? So let's go around the, the, the Dart's ex kind of route. I don't know, if I can. I just saved his life. Well, not only once. Yeah, let's see. I want to hear it from Dart's own mouth. Okay, I dated her for th for th for three months, and we had we did it three times. Uh, four times, nine times. <laughs> you explain, Dart. I don't understand. <laughs> How awkward. Let's make it... Oh! I can! Okay. Let's do the awkward option. Uh, yeah. I know it, I knew it gave an option. Yeah, and I'm gonna say she's a very important person to me. She's, a, she's an important person to me. Are you seducing me? Because I, I'm not into you anymore. <laughs> no, no. No way. I couldn't make it to even cells without you, Rose. So early in the in the, in the game, Dart was making a round and uh, there was a dragon and his home village was, town was burning down to Imperial Sandora and da 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 da. And that cells. And the person who saved you from the dragon was... Rose! <laughs> Rose saved him from the dragon. Yep, it's her. Talking about being saved, I didn't thank you yet. And Rose saw a glimmering thing on his side and was like, whoa, could this be? No, it couldn't. It's not possible. Uh, I don't need any thanks. I wanted to do this. I think I've made all the X jokes I could. I see. But why are you here? Yeah, why Why did she know to come where she came? Like at the right time. It's too fishy to be a coincidence. Yeah, why did you come here now? <laughs> I followed you because I was fascinated by this artifact you own. Yeah, she saw that glowing red thing. And it was like, what? <laughs> what? What are those? Um, the dragoon spirit of the red-eyed dragon. That's the only reason why. This, this light is... So they, they glow together. I'm guessing you're starting to get, um, you deserve to rule dragons. This light shows the true evidence. 
Yeah, I'm, gu I'm guessing you're starting to get the idea that, uh, Legend of Dragoon. What is it about? Why is it called Legend of Dragoon? <laughs> From the time the dragon, the dragon, dragoon spirit starts to shine, you have to accept your fate as a dragoon. Just like me. You have no choice. I, I didn't know there was a choice. No, I didn't know there was such power concealed in my father's memento. Yeah, his dad died in a different town. And he found that memento. It was the only thing he found of his dad. And his mom disappeared too. You saved him because... You knew from the beginning? I didn't know. It was a test. To see if he could be a dragoon. That's all it was. Just a test. <laughs> if you couldn't, you would be dead now. She'd be like, uh, oh well. Off to the next person with the red eye dragon spirit. Why do you know about how do you know what yeah, why do you know about such things? How do you know about such things? What books have you read? You know too much about things nobody could know. We're talking the Was it the Dragon Wars? Eleven thousand years ago or something like that. Dragon campaign, eleven thousand years ago. It's better than ignorance, isn't it? Yeah, 11,000 years ago, there was a dragon campaign and, st and something. You know, and that's a, that was a long time ago. She knows a lot about it, though. It's true. But yours is not mere knowledge. It's a story in, in a legend that has been lost. I heard about it from Minister Neusch before. Yeah, talked about the dragon campaign. 11,000 years ago in this kind of, in the story of Legend of Dragoon, okay? <laughs> and, uh, the people who led the humans to victory in the Dragon Campaign were the Dragoons against, oh, I've, the Winglies. The Winglies, yeah. A race called the Winglies that ruled and then, uh, the humans were like slaves humans achieved victory because of dragoons who uh, rode dragons and ruled dragons or something like that. <laughs> but that was the only reason you protected me? And that's what I was saying earlier. Maybe it's like residual memory from playing the game earlier. And uh, the last time I played through the game. Just because I have a dragoon spirit Honestly, I was surprised myself, but now I know my, now I know. Does she really care about Dart though? You know, as his ex, does she really still care about him? Good question. You guys look like my dear old friends. Yeah, so she is friends? Interesting. They lived in the middle of a turbulent generation. They were strong enough to grab the bull by the horns. No. <laughs> strong enough to grab their own fate. So it means the same exact thing. Uh, yeah. I saw grab and I went for it. They knew the way to go. The great things, the great things, the, <laughs> the things to do, the enemies to defeat the people to protect. They were police officers. I'm a former police officer. And you're under arrest. Um, I feel the same way about you guys. Uh, I want to arrest you all. I couldn't help. <laughs> I couldn't help doing that. I can't help but joke sometimes, guys. I couldn't help doing that. <laughs> now you understand me. Hmm, she's mysterious, but what do you think about Rose? 
What do you guys think about Rose? Let me know in the comments. Can I ask you one thing? You won't, but you only get one question. What are they doing now? Good question. Everybody's gone. It's all in the past. They've gone. They they've went their own way. Died in a war. Died in battle. I'm sorry. I think I was wrong about you, Rose. Let's have a... No, just kidding. <laughs> I didn't even say anything wrong, guys. I said nothing wrong. Okay. See? All clean. <laughs> it's okay. I am used to being hated. I... Yeah. This content is not for kids, okay? Kids wouldn't even get it. It's fine. Is the head... Is the head of a certain night... Thank you, Sir Kaiser here. The seventh board is under it. Is under a strong attack by the Sandoras. I don't know why I can't read right now. It's the jokes. The jokes. What? Something's going on. The seventh fort in the marshland is under fierce the fierce attack of the dragon. That's where the dragon went. Rather than hoax, they went to the seventh. The dragon went to the seventh fort. Due to that, the tenth and thirteenth knighthoods are almost overwhelmed. Survivors are still responding. Thank you for the news update. <laughs> I could have just looked at my phone and saw that on an article. <laughs> where did it come from? I don't know where it came from. It just appeared out of nowhere. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Uh, that, that's, that, that, that's an old meme. From the forest. Over a volcano balloon. <laughs> I'm just silly today, guys. I'm silly. It seems there is a nest there for the dragon. <laughs> I'm so inappropriate today. I'm sure you guys are enjoying this. Gigantos and Dragoons? It's not a fight between humans. I I'm sure this episode is entertaining for you all. And that's my goal. If we don't defeat the dragon, we don't have a future. That's true. We all have dragons in our lives. And if we don't defeat those dragons in our lives, we will not have a future. That's my TED talk. Summon the rest of the knights. We will assault the dragon's nest. The knighthood has the advantage of numbers. But they are only human. So Rose, mysterious Rose, has something to say. Humans cannot defeat a dragon. If it continues, Basil will be annihilated. And it'll, they'll, it will just be Sandora. <laughs> Sandora will control all of Serdio. Or maybe it'll just be the kingdom of Serdio that's Sandora. We don't know until we try. You know, we gotta just... Do you think a wasted death is honorable or something? To a knight, to a knighthood, yes. You go down in battle, you are honored. That's how it works. But dragoons can defeat him. Dart, you should understand you have a different existence. Because Dart has... Dart is a dragoon! Uh, a dragon knight, basically. 
We are beyond. So, uh, that's right. Dragoon. Dragoons, which has said, which were said to have governed the dragons. I don't know, I'm not reading things right today. I don't know. They can fight against the dragon. Where humans would just go down. Human regular knights would just go sla get slaughtered. They'd be gone. They'd be dead. Uh, I will say positive. I can do this. You know? Say to the mirror in front of every morning, I can do this. And uh, you will be motivated. Another TED Talk kind of idea. Maybe I can do it. I felt the power of the dragon in me. Uh, I'm not going to make an inappropriate joke about this. <laughs> I'll do it. I believe in this power. He's Dar's doing his own TED Talk, to be honest. It makes me feel relieved. Yeah, he's probably relieved. He's lost so many men. Uh, he can't afford to do, like, an attack. There's nobody left who can fight. In the Eighth Knighthood. <laughs> no. They're all, like, dead or really injured. It seems you are the only people we can count on. Kaiser! You, you are, your wound is open. I am all right. Darp, Rose, the kingdom of Basil is finished. It's finished. The kingdom of Basil is finished. Uh, there is the end of the game. Thank you for watching the last episode of the series. Uh, unless we could defeat the dragon. So, you could trust me. I will fight for you too. There was like a lawyer firm that is like I, in, around Los Angeles. I will fight for you or something like that. Pretty famous. Uh, did a lot of advertising. Doesn't seem to be enough. If only Dart and uh, with only if it's only Dart and the others. So it seems we're going to get a new party member, Rose. Shauna, you should stay. <laughs> no, I am going. I can help the other people too. You know that also that meme where it's like someone joined the fight? You know, Rose has joined the fight or something. The green tusk dragon. Fairy brand. Well, that's the dragon that almost killed Dart in the beginning of the game that Rose rescued him from. You hear it? You hear it? Ray, Ray, you hear it? It brings back the fear I felt before. When he was trying to fight against it, and it was useless. The real fear has not even begun yet. This will soon become a horror game. Or maybe not. Or maybe it will. Now, I'm not going to end the episode yet because this is a mega episode. We still got more going on. You know, keep watching, guys. Keep watching. Keep eating that snack you're eating. Or whatever. Keep drinking that drink you're drinking. I'm gonna save. No. Alright, look at that. Shauna has... Is it level 12? Um, we gotta switch out for Rose. She's only level 8. I'm trying to keep the levels level. If you know what I mean. We gotta train Rose up. She's not OP. 
Uh, okay, let's see what Rose has. Hmm. Poison guard, active wrist, power wrist. That could work. That could give her a little bit of power. Uh, and as long as she's weak like this. She's, she's actually far weaker than Dart, which is funny, right? You'd figure she'd be really strong. <laughs> I wish I could have seen Mr. Dart defeat Kongle. Oh, yeah, those are two soldiers, basically, who are still alive. With Mr. Dart, the Imperial Sandora are no match for us. Dart is now the leader. Um, no, it's actually the king. Start as a messiah of the kingdom of Basil. Yeah, Albert is the king. I wish I could have seen, yeah, Mr. Dart transform himself. He didn't transform himself, though. Rose transformed him. So let's go look around. Uh, the place is kind of messed up. Uh, yeah, no one's around. Let's go into the church. Not many people in the church now. Whimper. <laughs> I, I don't do a whimper sound. Maybe I didn't pray enough. Dad? Mom? Yeah, if, if you pray, it's everything's going to work out, and it didn't work out, sadly. Many young people died, and the elders are left. Many of those who could fight, they fought, and they died. I wish I could have gone instead of them. It, it's a sad si situation. What? No. Nothing? Whimper. Pa. My family was safe. My family. But I cannot be happy. I wonder if. If we cannot live in a peaceful world again. Sorry, my allergies are bugging my throat. <laughs> so it's a little rough. And I'm doing a lot of voice lines. I delivered almost all the people who live in this town. Many of them died overnight. Why do people kill each other? Why can't they live together? Why? Why is that? That is a very good question. We are taking care of children who lost their families. That's good. It is so sad to lose their lives and leave the small children behind. Well, at least the small children are uh, still alive. Yeah, I'm not making jokes about this sad situation. Even though I did say uh, I'd even make jokes at a funeral. I, I wouldn't. What's going on in the Silver Dragon Inn? I wonder if there is a silver dragon. Probably not. Just sounded good. Even if you fight with a brave face on, make sure to put your brave face on before you fight. <laughs> you will drag. Uh, you'll drag down everybody. I cannot let you uh, let out of bed someone who doesn't even understand such a simple thing. Must be, uh, the significant other, right? Let's talk to the guy. Our war, the war is not over yet. There is time for me, there's no time for me to just lie here. Oh, ouch. It's okay, I can still fight. Uh, ouch. Yeah. He's gotta recover. You could even uh, get to sleep here. You could stay. You could stay the night. 
Which, uh, which dart did? It was super. What about it? That dart fella, yesterday, he wore unique armor and defeated Congo. Sorry. <laughs> I had to do that voice, okay? With dart, Imperial Sandor is not even a match as our enemy. Dart is the messiah of the kingdom of Basil. Amen. Amen. Messiah, huh? I said I wouldn't do voices, but I did. You cannot be called a real dragoon getting stunned like that by bursting with power. Bursting with power. That's another uh, thing that you can make a joke about. Okay. I'll show you a little bit. I know how to do it. There is magic. You, there's, you, you could do magic stuff. How should I fight as a dragoon? Well, let's begin. And then there's Dragoon Editions. Dragoon Editions are timing based, but are even faster timing based than regular editions. Let's begin. What would you like to know about Dragoons? Dragon Transformation Editions Magic. Editions I won't show you. I'm just terrible at them. They just, this timing thing, it doesn't work out. Dragoon Transformations need spiritual power. SP. You can accumulate SP by attacking enemies. Let's try. Fight with me. Come on. So. Yes. You do attacks, they give you SP. <laughs> yes, let's keep it up. Uh, not even close. Let's do it again. I messed up the addition. Even the simple one. Yes, keep it up. You accumulated SP. When your SP is full, a transformation command appears. Selecting that allows you to become a dragoon. So, let's do it. Yeah. Dragoon magic, I will show you at a later point. Uh, see, that's the dragoon transformation. Really cool. Dragoon editions, I told you I am terrible at them and I will not be doing them. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, I got it. For quicker transformations, change the settings on the system. Select config, highlight morph, and uh, select short. That's all. We good! We good. We good, fam. What would you like to know about dragoons? Mm. I'm not gonna do additions. I told you. And I'll show you magic later on. It's, good. it's like a card trick. A sleight of hand. No. It's like magic. I'm not gonna do I'll show you that later. Especially in a boss battle. It'll be fun. I can't wait to do the boss battle battles with uh, Dragoon. Gain SP by attacking allows your Dragoon level to increase. So... And you'll have more spell choices. In the end, you can only rely on your own sword. Because you need that to get the SP to uh, rank up as a dragon. You guys got it? This is what I can teach. After that, it's up to you.
I'll be here for a while. Go prepare for a departure. I want to show you more around town. Or what remains of it. Before I go. And then we'll make a quick trip to the city. The castle city of Bell. Alright. It's off limits from here. The road collapsed and is dangerous. Yeah. By the way, when, yeah, when you're doing conversation with someone, you get two different responses. Uh, I wanted to show this house my to my baby, which was to be born. I at least prepare for the first floor. I should be happy. So yeah, he wanted his kid to be safe. See, they have two text things. Um, and I like to explore it all. And not only that, you go back later and they have new things to say. And uh, that's what I do. That's his wife. He pushed himself for such a silly reason. You know, for the place. It would have been pointless if he died. But he didn't die. I didn't care about the house. I just wanted my loved one to be alive. But he is. Yeah. Let's talk to uh, the and the remaining knighthood people. There is lava flowing all the, all the time on the surface of Volcano Valud. It is, it is a dangerous place. Be careful. Volcanoes do have lava. It's true. I heard there is a firebird living in Volcano Valud. Please be careful. Is the bird adoptable? It's probably pretty cute. The dragon's den is located over Volcano Valud. Basil has no chance of victory. Unless we defeat the dragon. That's the head knighthood guy. We're putting all our hopes on you. I think we got that point. Let's go. We're going to go to the castle city of Bell before we end the episode. Trust me, stick around, all right? Stick around. Once we leave the town, I can see your full dragoon. Uh, I won't teach you how to fight anymore. That's fine, I know how to fight. I am kind of a veteran of this game. Okay, I'll be all right. I'm not saying I'm the greatest player of Legend of Dragoon, but I am experienced at playing Legend of Dragoon. They're two separate things. I'm knowledgeable. Random battle! Guess what? You thought there were no more battles this episode? Well, guess what? More battles! This should be easy, though. Look at the guy. Look at the slime guy. He blocks your arm so you can attack. <laughs> but he's no match. switch uh, things around? I don't know. I don't think I need to show you that battle. I'll, I'll, editing pink will cut that out. Yeah, I don't... That's what I do. But I at least want to show you it once. The first time around. Anyway, here we are. Let's talk to people after the whole thing happened. Uh, the seventh fort has completely fallen, and Hoax is having a hard time. I wonder if we can make it. See, they have completely new things to say after a big event happened. I have trouble sleeping when I imagine them reaching Bell. Hopefully they don't reach Bell. We can, one can only hope. They want to, though. Talk to the artist girl. 
who painted uh, Lavitz. I hate wars, because I cannot go out and paint. Oh, Sir Lavitz. Please end the war quickly. I can't really. Oh, Sir Lavitz. Please end the war quickly. I, I, something like that. Something like that. What's her voice before? Let's talk about the. How about the guy who's just enjoying his drink? This guy. Mmm, I feel a warm glow through my whole body. Something like, I gave him something like that. Okay. Feel a warm glow through my whole body. Uh, how about the bar? Where they were like, I gotta have a drink. Drinking spirits in the middle of the day like that? Well, I cannot talk bad about it. It's partially my fault. There's nothing we could do against the legendary dragon. Facing a dragon from legend? Really? I gotta have a drink. Cool. Don't disappoint me. There was a rumor of a dragon in the Empire before, but it seems to be true. Can dragons be defeated by humans? I gotta drown myself in drink. No, no, you went off script. It's I gotta have a drink. How did- how- you failed me. It seems the seventh fort was devoured by the dragon. Now- now don't you fail me. Imagine those knights being killed by an unforeseen monster. I gotta have a drink. Good! You did- you did right. You remembered your line. This is the inn, by the way. And bar. How about we talk to a few other people? I have a good hunch. You can trust me, right? Well, something good will happen. I feel it. I will let no one take my child's life. Even the Imperial Sandora. I can do anything if it's for my child. Parents are strong. They are strong, actually. They are. Some of them. Unlike, maybe my dad. <laughs> uh, dragons only live in fairy tale. Dragons only live in fairy tales. They shouldn't exist in this world. You are an alarmist. And dragons only exist in fairy tales too. Dragons have been extinct for a long time, haven't they? Well, they attacked the seventh fort, so they are real. I used to be attached to the 10th Knighthood at the 7th Fort by Velcro, obviously. I heard there was no hope of survivors. I would at least like to bring back, bring their ashes back. Okay, that's good. Hmm. I doubt the dragon could even buy the Great Lavish. Dragon could what? Dragon could. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to make a dirty joke. I don't want to. You know, you seen Shrek? Even by the love, it's even dragon. You seen Shrek? You seen what Donkey and, and Donkey had a relationship with the dragon? And they had like Donkey Dragon babies. It's true. Or, at least I think it's true. M Martel, well. Oh, Martel, that we bumped into her earlier. You must be the man who bumped into me at the entrance of the town. Yes, I know Martel. I've played the game before. I've played through the game before. I know Martel. Well, perhaps. I was a little careless, so can we forget about, forget about it? No, I'm going to sue you. I was in a hurry because I had something to ask him about. This guy here. 
Miss Martell came here to ask me about Stardust. He's his name. He's a knowing old geezer. Stardust. I have a bunch of Stardust. I have a load of them because I know about Stardust and I've been collecting them. I heard something about it in a fairy tale. No, you know, you know, you know, you know it's Dart has some. It said that if you collect them all, your wish comes true. Hmm. So, I'm gonna try to collect them all, guys, okay? In this playthrough. <laughs> it's not a fairy tale. I believe it's true. I need some. Hey, why don't you give this, give me the stardust you find if you find some? I'm not. I think I said that right. Of course, I didn't say for free. I'll give you something rare that I found on my journey in return for some of them. What do you think? Not bad, huh? So that's why I've been collecting Stardust for this particular person. You don't have to, but if you happen to find some, remember me, will you? And I will give her some Stardust. Anything nuisance then? Dart knows. Let's give her something. It's hard to find Stardust, isn't it? I guess I knew it, though. About you. How about you? Yep, eight Stardust. Thanks. Thanks a million. I know it's eight, not a million. Thanks in advance for the next time. Stardust is also We're talking to the guy. Uh, Stardust is also known as the Wishing Stone. As to the name, as the name implies, it's believed it fulfills a wish. Huh. You know what? I think I've done kind of everything <laughs> in this mega episode. If you're still here, I, you know, tell me that you are still here by the end of the mega episode, and I will give you a mega what I whatever item. So, I didn't mention it before I got music. Bedroom Colors, wherever you stream your music. Uh, links in the description, video description and top comment. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching.